Buddy Cub. My name's Jed and I retired here to the land of smiles, Thailand, five years ago. In that five years I've travelled just about everywhere in Thailand that's worth seeing uh, and now um, I'm going to show you what I found out, the places that I found were the best places for retirees, digital nomads, anyone, any expats who are thinking of coming here, you might want to know the best towns for you to retire. So I'm going to take in the 10 best towns over the next few months and those towns are Wahin, Koh Samui, Phuket, Krabi, Bangkok, Pattaya, Konken, Udon Thani, Chiang Rai and Chiang Mai. And I'm going to throw in a bonus town, no extra charge, of Kolak because that's also a great little town. A little bit off the beaten track and probably doesn't suit a lot of people but if you're looking for peace and quiet uh, that could be the place for you also. So I'll do a little video on there as I'm passing by. So fasten your seatbelts and uh, come along with me while I take you to the 10 best towns for you to retire or live here in Thailand. Shumphon on the way to Samui. Um, it's about halfway, uh, which is a good stopping off point. About two and a half hour, three hour drive to Shumphon from Wahin, and the same distance from Wahin to Donsak Pier, where I'll catch the ferry. Um, I've decided to stop here because I'm a little bit tired. I've had a hectic few days. Uh, things haven't been going too well for me at the moment, but uh, hopefully they'll pick up once I get to Samui. Um, I'll show you around this lovely temple. This temple is dedicated to the founder of the Thai Navy. And um, being an ex-seaman myself, um, it, uh, it's very significant for me. I, I like visiting nautical museums and uh, nautical places uh, of significance. And you don't find many of them in Thailand. So this is, uh, this is very good for me. Prince Shumphon Shrine and Memorial is located about 12 kilometers from Shumphon Town Centre and it sits on the foot of the hill across from Sai Rai Beach just over there. Admiral Krom Luang Shumphon Ket Udomsak, which is a bit of a mouthful, was born in 1880 and he died at a young age of 43 in 1923. And he's, he's considered to be the father of the Royal Thai Navy. He was the 28th son of King Rama V and he spent six years in the UK studying at the Royal Naval Academy and on his return to Thailand or Siam as it was known then he held a number of important positions in the Royal Thai Navy. But he's most uh, famous for modernising the Thai Navy and creating a professional officer corps. He became commander of the Navy in 1922 and in addition to his naval studies the, the Prince is also known as a herbal doctor and a boxer and an artistic painter. He's well remembered in Thailand and the anniversary of his death on May 19th is Royal Thai Navy Day. Everything about the shrine is uh, naval related. Uh, the whole shrine is uh, about the navy and uh, the Prince of Shumphon. They're setting off uh, firecrackers. Now this could be for 
number of reasons. Uh, some people like them because um, to for prosperity, uh, when it comes to some money, and they think by setting off some firecrackers that will help. And they're also used um, at a funeral, um, at the end of a, a funeral. They're used to set the uh, person off uh, into his next life or her next life. Down the bottom of the mountain uh, here's the second memorial, uh, another smaller temple than the one at the top. And it's also got, uh, as a memorial, an old torpedo ship uh, that was moved to Sairai uh, in 1979. Uh, you, you're allowed to go on board and have a look around uh, the ship, both inside and outside. And uh, the good thing is, uh, there's no entrance fee. dirty look I'm afraid uh, very very much so in Thailand you have to wear the masks um, so this is a very nice place to go it's a great little uh, half a day out uh, there's got coffee shops uh, around opposite and there's uh, market stalls and of course it sits on a lovely beach uh, so you can um, spend the day at the beach afterwards if you want sorry about the noise they're doing a little bit of maintenance work on board the ship I know some people will say, well, it's a nice city. I've never found it to be nice. I like the beach areas. I typed in beach hotel and this came up. And then when I looked at the distance, it was one and a half hours drive from uh, Chumphon. But I thought, no, I'll get out of Chumphon. This brings us an hour and a half closer to uh, Donsak Pier. So tomorrow's drive will be a lot easier. It'll only be about an hour and a half, if that, um, to get to Donsak Pier and then go across to um, Koh Samui. So I'm going to give you a little walk around while I'm here. Nice swimming pool. This hotel cost me 750 baht for one night. Uh, it's right on the beach. It includes breakfast. And uh, as you can see, very, very nice. It's not ultra modern, uh, but it's nice. It's clean. And it leads down to its own private beach. But look at that, we've got a private beach. Lovely golden sand. So Shumphon is an hour and a half drive that way. 
half down is out there somewhere and if we go an hour and a half down this way uh, through Surattani you end up in uh, Donsak Pier and take the ferry across to Kosamui somewhere over that way so beautiful look at this I'm paying 750 baht for this one good thing about Covid is it um, keeps people away I've got this beach all to myself I've got the hotel all to myself <laughs> bit selfish I know but uh, I don't like it in some respects because I like some atmosphere as well it's nice to not to be alone uh, but um, when the prices are this low and you've got a whole all this place to yourself how can I play volleyball by myself nice rooms nothing fantastic it's not your Hilton but uh, nice double bed, clean, and that's what I like. Last night I was in uh, stayed in a hotel in the middle of Chamfont and it was filthy. It was horrible. But it's got air conditioning, TV, and all this for 750 baht a night, including breakfast for two people if you have two people staying. But, uh, look at it, beautiful swimming pool on the beach, restaurant over there. Just been there for lunch, I had a Chang beer and I had some noodles with pork it cost me 140 baht 60 baht for the noodles uh, and very nice and uh, 80 baht for a, a beer so where else can you get it, yeah? and look, I'm the only person here there's no one else staying here there's no cars, no motorbikes so I've got all this to myself this is all for me so if you haven't already done so please push the button will help me a lot thank you very much and push the thumbs up button and if you know of anyone who might like to watch my videos push